everyone in this video i am going to teach you absorption of water by roots so please focus on this word that we are going to talk about the absorption of water by roots first of all we should know that what is the need of water why this water is required for the plant number 1 that photosynthesis photosynthesis as we know that this is the process of making of food by the plants so what is the need of water as i have already written this equation for saving the time that is 12 molecules of water when combines with carbon dioxide so the water is required for the photosynthesis next demand to maintain turgidity turgidity is a new word for you all turgidity ka matlab hota hai jab koi cell apne maximum volume mein ho then we use the term turgidity when a cell is completely filled with water that is known as turgid cell next turgidity of the leaf turgidity here we are talking about the cells that means all parts canopy leaf shoot and root so here to maintain turgidity but when this turgidity is there into the leaf cell leaf cell so these leaf cells are interconnected with each other each other that means the when cells are there in a turgid condition they are interconnected with each other and as there is making of food that is photosynthesis there so it helps in translocation of food in downward direction so this turgid condition of the cell also helps in the movement of food in downward direction this is the third need and the fourth need is opening and closing of stomata as we know that in the leaf in the leaf we have stomata depends on the type of leaf in upper and lower epidermis so this stomata is having a guard cell when these guard cells are flaccid aap dekho yahan par yahan pe cells ki jo volume hai wo kam dikhai de rahi when it is there into the open condition then the guard cell is to be there in the turgid one यानी इस गार्ड सेल के अंदर जितना पानी आ सकता है उतना मैक्सिमम वाटर यहां पर फिल्ड है सो दिस इज टर्जिट गार्ड सेल टर्जिट सेल ड्यू टू दिस टर्जिट सेल द स्टोमेटा इज ओपन द स्टोमेटा इज ओपन दिस इज टर्म ना स्टोमा ओपनिंग ऑफ स्टोमेटा एंड दीज आर द गार्ड सेल्स so when it is there in the turgid condition it helps in the opening of of opening of stomata when it is there in the flaccid condition jab cell ke andar pani kam ho aur jab uska volume kam ho jaye cell ka then we use the term flaccid and the process is termed as the flaccidity now or these are the requirement why the water is required for the different task of the plant but now the next is the mode of diffusion of or transport of water so what are those as we know that we have certain points certain processes for the absorption of water number 1 number 1 it is process different process number 1 diffusion second one is termed as osmosis third one is termed as immersion fourth one is termed as active transport so these are the modes by which the water will enter into the root but before these terms before before these definition we should know what is the adaptation by which way by which process the root is uh, ready to absorb the water in this diagram you can observe the root is there inside the soil this is the line of demarcation soil is present this side this portion outside the soil it is to be termed as shoot i have written here already in this root part at the very tip which is moving downward there is root cap this portion of root never absorbs water its main task is to make to make a way and to protect the tip of the root 
while moving downward. Second thing, just above this root cap, little bit portion is also there for the root which does not absorb water. The portion of root which absorb water is the portion which is known as root hair. So, adaptation is there for the absorption of water in root. So, root, this portion of the root is especially adaptable for the absorption of water. What is there? By making so many root hair like this, like this, like this, root increases surface area. This is the surface area which is going to be increased. By making root hair, which are more profused, too much of the branching is there into the root hair and in this way we are increasing the surface area. Inside the soil, water is also present. So I have written here soil plus water. So when the surface area is to be increased, then in this way the water easily enters inside the root. As it, and the water gets more surface area. Next thing, as we already know that the cell of the plant contains cell wall. So this is the cell wall. Cell wall present towards the outer side. So this is cell wall. In this case, in the root hair, this cell wall is very thin. So this thin cell wall is again helpful in absorption of water. Third point, that the concentration of the solution into the soil, I am making a circle, I am talking about the concentration of this part. Writing A, A, a. This is concentration of solution. This is something new for you here. Concentration of solution into the soil is less than the concentration of solution inside the root hair. I am writing B here. So this is the solution present inside the root. This is solution present inside the root inside the roots. So these are the things which are which are the considered as adaptability for the absorption of water from root. Now the next thing is that in what way how many ways are there for the absorption of water. Number one diffusion. This is a simple movement a type of passive movement and movement always there from high concentration of matter to low concentration of matter talking about diffusion next one is going to take the easier one that is osmosis for the osmosis when two solutions are separated by a semi permeable membrane then the difference is there semi permeable membrane is a very specific membrane this is the membrane it allows entry of water only nothing else Solute cannot move across. So now we have two solution. Here solution concentration is low. Talking about the solution. Talking about solution. When we talk about the solution it means it is having solvent and solute. In case of B that the concentration is high. Concentration is high. That means that the solution is having the high concentration over here. I'm going to write down the solution. Now the movement of water through semi permeable membrane. Movement of water through semi permeable membrane. From low concentration of solution towards the higher concentration of solution is termed as osmosis. Movement of water molecules from lower concentration of solution towards the higher concentration of solution through semi-permeable membrane is known as osmosis. Keep it in your mind that this semi-permeable membrane is the key word for the definition. If you will not write the semi-permeable membrane, then definitely your answer will be wrong. In the next one, that is immobation, there is a type of surface absorption of water. Third, termed as 
imbibition. In this, the water is absorbed by the surface of cell. So, as we know that the cell wall is made up of cell wall is made up of cellulose. So, this cellulose is water loving. So, it absorbs water for surface. It is also it is also a type of passive absorption. That when we soak seed inside the water, in that condition, this seed absorbs water from the surface. This is the another example of imbibition swelling of doors and of course the window frames during the rainy season is also an example of imbibition. Then fourth one that is termed as active transport. Active transport. In all these examples, what we have already studied as point 1, 2, 3, we have noticed that the movement of the water is always there from higher concentration towards the lower, lower concentration. But now, lower concentration of the water here I am talking. But now, in the case of active transport, the movement of water. Movement of water always occurs from low concentration of solvent. One point or high concentration of solution. Both the things are same. Towards low concentration of solution. The reverse direction. The movement is there in the reverse way. So this is known as active transport. For this type of the transport, plants require energy and this type of the energy is always there and it is harvested in the form of ATP we know it as adenosine triphosphate so in this video we have discussed about why the water is required and in what way the root hairs are adaptable for the absorption of water and what are the modes of absorption of water into the roots in my next video i will explain few technical terms of the same chapter thank you